uh, you see, uh, this this morning I haven't read through the, gone through the dailies. Nigeria will be the big losers. We are going to be the biggest loser if we don't cop the insecurity that is about to spring up from Nigeria. Let me tell you why. Take for instance, you have a um an escalade okay if i have an escalade inside a traffic parking right behind a downfall bus and if the downfall bus catches fire the escalade forget don't forget you guys are in the traffic that means you cannot actually reverse from the downfall guy okay the guy in that escalade was ensure he has a fire extinguisher and he was ensure he intervened to kill the fire of that downfall otherwise what will happen to the fire the fire will also go and catch up with the escalate and then the escalate world will burn down as of today there's fire in niger and if we all agree niger is like a neighbor that is so close to us we are so intertwined okay if that could persist there will be faction in niger okay we will start seeing different resistance different militias okay and they will now start attacking on vulnerable nigerians now those nigerians who will now expel will call massive migration into the northern states we will experience extraordinary massive privilege of small arms okay now now we can still contain our borders now we want to attack pj we are attacking them from our borders ensuring that our borders are well well locked and watertight because we have the ECOWAS forces right behind us because let me tell you we are going to be the biggest loser but everybody is scared that do not engage the nije we are doing everything humanly possible to talk to these people we have sent about five dignitaries we sent Sanusi, we sent uh, Abu Salam, we sent, uh, I think we sent one of our military soldiers, we sent, even USA came. Niger is like a, 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 a an hag, therefore, if you say therefore, for where the, where, the, where, the, where the smoke, you understand? What, what, what happens to them? At the end of the day, they, 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 they what? They confiscate it. Niger is a state that we cannot allow them to try and act anyhow because they don't have anything to offer the western region other than to cooperate they cannot stand alone nigeria ordinarily when we were under military junta we were still supporting ECOWAS existence that's the truth we were still listening to diplomacy but this one as i said they don't want to hear anything at all if you go spoil you go spoil let me tell you picking when one loss you go lost at the end of the day at the influence of uh, the West and the uh, interest of having uranium in that country. Let me tell you, the uranium is one of the most expensive resource which is being used to make batteries. And that is the next, you know, I mean, I think when we talk about technology, I think that's the next, that's the future of generation, right? Now, for the uranium, I disagree totally that that is why the West are involved in them. I disagree, yeah, because Niger, as far as you are concerned, Niger is not the number one. Niger is not the number one when it comes to uranium. Okay, I can tell you that Russia also has uranium. I can tell you that France can as well come to Nigeria for uranium. There are so many other states that has uranium. Niger is going through this thing the wrong way because Russia are looking for loopholes to establish themselves, and as we are aware. Russia is out there to destroy everything that concerns the Western power. This is what they are trying to do in Ukraine. Okay? What is the interest of Russia in Ukraine? Tell me what is the interest of Russia in Ukraine? Okay? What Russia is out there is anybody that is ready to go against the Western power, we will give you the support, give you the backing. They are working on that emotion. They are looking for a place to cause chaos. They are looking for a field that they will do it. Echo us as a region. We must protect ourselves. Niger is part of us. Yes, today Niger is a prodigal son. But we must do everything possible 
to ensure that they regain their senses. Okay, we must ensure that we do everything that they come back to their democratic system of governance. Military is never compared to democracy. In Nigeria, we have democracy. Yes, it is not perfect, but nobody will pray for military. I have listened to how some people who lost the election are coming coming for military. I am telling you, if we have military, you and I cannot stand here. Everybody here cannot stand because all of us, they will capture us and throw us into the dungeons of the military. So democracy is always the best. Okay, it takes time, but it is very difficult to manage. However, it is the best form of government. And we must ensure that we restore that in what? In Niger. If the ECOWAS, after doing all the necessary di uh, diplomatic conversation with them, if they still persist, I approve them to go and what invade them. They need to capture them. That's not the truth. There will be an invasion. If they kill the president, the president will be remembered as an hero of democracy. I mean, Nigeria lost one of our foremost leaders. We lost, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, this man that we lost in uh, 1997, uh, MKO. We lost MK Abiola because of democracy. If Basum goes down for this fight, it is a worthwhile fight. It is better for you to die for something than to die for any nothing. Listen, if they kill Basum, I can guarantee you the leaders of that juntas they will not last for eight hours. They will be taken down and democracy will be restored immediately. As a matter of fact, I will advise them for them to kill Basum now. Because if they keep us up now, it is better for democracy, and democracy will be restored in the next 48 hours. But if they keep, uh, you know, keeping Bazoom, they will use him as an hostage, and then they will try to use him to erode many emotions and all that. I am telling you, those guys are only bluffing, okay? Because they don't have what it takes. They don't have the army. They don't have the technology. They don't have the backing. They don't have the financial power. They don't Russia would not back Niger just as much as United Nations, US, France, US, Niger, uh, United Nations, USA, the Western power will back ECOWAS. And they have stated it clearly. They mentioned it yesterday that they are backing the ECOWAS to restore democracy by all means. Do you think they said that they will back Nigerians? They will give them the intelligence, they will give them the what? The military machineries that are needed. They will give them the finances that are needed. Russia does not have the financial muscle combined with just as USA, Europe, you know, Russia does not have it. This is a fight that we already know the end before it even starts. We already know that Niger will lose. Okay, we are only giving them time for them to come and have a rethink that, okay, fine, we are ready to negotiate. But if they persist, they are going down and they are going down hard. By the end of August, if Niger, if by the end of August, if by the end of August, if Niger does not show a positive body language. I can tell you, by the end of the month, the hell will be loose in Niger. I can guarantee you that. By September, October, November, Niger will face the greatest and the highest, hardest of wars in their life. Let me tell you one, one other thing. Nigeria must ensure that we retain our social capital. You know, I keep saying this. Nigeria is seen as a power. If we are quiet, let me tell you, if we are quiet in this face, every other every other state will rubbish Nigeria. Your green passports will become as useless as a tissue paper. There are still all the western region, all the western region and some other states, other countries. Nigeria can still go. This is another fight that can help revitalize, reposition Nigeria. Because if ECOWAS, and I know that ECOWAS will come successful, if we actually go into this fight, if Niger do not come into diplomacy, in one month, if we defeat these guys, I will tell you the way Nigerian ranking will increase. I will tell you the way foreign investment will come to this country. I can guarantee you that this fight will help reposition Nigeria. But if we don't, investors will look at us as a coward. They will look at us as people who is not ready to upgrade its security and they will not take us they will not take us seriously let me tell you one last let me give you let me give you one last let me give you one last uh, reminder 
It was in 1941 when the World War II finished. America became the world power because they went into that fight with all their hull. America was, in, was, was not having the best of economy. Okay, thank you so much. The best losers, number one, is Nigeria. We are chairing a, you know, international border with uh, Niger and uh, one of the coerced states. Two, France. France has been leveraging on Niger uh, mineral resources over the years since independence. To the extent that after exploitation of some of the mineral resources, France will only return 50% to the original owner of those resources. Three, British. British will be the third loser because the invasion will be an eye opener to other Anglophones apart from Nigeria. Anglophones, I mean, English speaking countries in Africa will open their eyes wide and learn from uh, uh, what happened in the Niger Republic. Four, then Russia will be the loser in the sense that. The whole world will now know that Russia is trying to expand their world power. They want to use that as an excuse or balance to colonize Africa and so on and so forth. You mentioned the Niger Republic. When two elephants fight, the grass is over. Niger Republic, I tell you, will never ever lose. Ask me why. They know what they are fighting for. They want to make a change for themselves. They are, they are civilians. They are going to start a new life because the system over there will now start to work. The politicians and the one responsible for donkey years, so many, many years of what economic woes, what was happening in that country, meaning their citizens are living below one dollar per day. After this invasion, after this uh, military confrontation, Niger will bounce back because victory will be on their side. I'm telling you, Wagner. Russia, they are behind Niger, and they will never lose this war. Will this trigger a third world uh, war because the world powers are involved? Yes, of course, that's it. The Westerners are coming to test their weapon. That's why I tell you that Nigeria will be the number one losers. Russia will make sure that they decimate Nigeria. Nigeria will be decimated so that they will start a fight. I don't use decimated thoroughly. See, let me tell you, I'm not saying we. So that Nigeria will learn her lesson. I'm not a Nigerian. We don't benefit from everything Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's why we call ourselves out as indigenous people of Biafra. They are going to lose, especially the houses. Who control the quality of the countries? Everything that belongs to this country many years ago till now. Say so there's nothing to show there. They are the ones that we lose. Southeast will never ever. We are not part of them. We are not closer to them. Niger is seeing us as part of them. Because what Nigerian politicians, Nigeria military, the entire country are going through the same thing the southeastern Nigerians are going through. So, when two elephants fought, the grasses would suffer. We know that the Niger, Nigerian citizens, they will suffer, but not that much. Russia produced the highest, largest amount of wheat globally that are going to supply food to Nigerian citizens. Who is going to eat in Nigeria? If they block our airspace, Russia, no fly zone, who? Who will benefit? Who will lose? Nigerians are going to suffer. And our politicians, they don't care for us. They have their, their, their families and their, their private purses. Nobody is going to feed you. Nobody is going to feed the North. Nobody is going to feed North Central. See, they are going to suffer over there. I'm telling you, they are going to suffer of what? Foolishness, stupidity, myopia, short sightedness, lack of intelligence, and wisdom. See, over the years, the North have been subjected to Mumuizi. Muguism. Follow, I follow. Go, I go. Leftist people that are drenched on religious bigotry, religious fanaticism. They are the ones that are going to bear the impact of what is about to happen. Invention is imminent. Let me kick off. I want you to take off so that Russia will show this Nigerian, whatever you call it, who they are. We show other African countries that don't have sense. So teachers are the problem of the black the, that continent. I'm telling you. And the white, the Westerners are aligning, taking those that as an excuse because our politicians they have failed over the years. They are thieves, they are bandits, they are worse than Boko Haram. Let me tell you, by the time Russia and North Korea finishes with Africa, our politicians, wherever they kept they keep their children in the West there, they will bundle them back for their children to start afresh and feel what 
we currently are feeling in Nigeria. This was going to have an impact on our economy. Dollar is now. Totally, our economy has crumbled to the bottom table. Dollar is 1,000 now. Let's take it like that. That is 1,000 naira. If you have one hundred dollars, you are having approximately one hundred thousand dollars. If you want one hundred dollars, is approximately one hundred thousand naira. Tinubu is Nigerian president. APC continue on so that everybody will die in Nigeria. Our economy is now drenched on the mud, drenched, over soaked on Potopoto. -poto. That is what Lai Mohammed wants. That is what Jagaban needed. Is needed. Yes, Buhari is happy where he is now because he has succeeded on destroying that country. Nigerians could not ask themselves questions. Why is it that at the eve of handing over to Tinubu, at the eve of inauguration of Tinubu's government, Tinubu, uh, Buhari has come into Niger. Why not staying in Nigeria? Nigerians, your brains are blocked. When we are telling, telling you that your president, Muhammad Buhari, was a foreigner, a stranger, some of you that are so epic and short sighted would like to cut him the canoe tail, cut his leg, kill him, woman, kill him in very southeast. All of you, where is Buhari today? He's nowhere to be found. APC Juggernauts, where is Buhari? What is going on? You handed over to the wrong person, the person, the right person that won an election. You turn your back on him because you are all thieves. Brigands. Let's sue for peace. Uh, no, Let's sue for peace. Let us sue for peace. Let's, let's okay. Not, uh, okay, we are not praying for war, but, le but let me tell you. Uh, tell Tinubu that war is not good. Go and tell other ECOWAS country preparing to invade a country with what? Legal sovereignty. That sovereignty, it belongs to Niger. That war is not good. Why not plan invasion of Nigeria? What is happening in Nigeria is worse than what is happening in Niger. They are not applying for invasion, uh, trying to, planning to invade, invade Niger Republic. If they invade the Niger Republic, the whole indigenous people of northern region will suffer. They will eat concrete. They don't know the aftermath of invasion of what? Kuwait in 1990s, 91. The all, mother of all battle, mother of all battle, according to Saddam Hussein, everybody suffered there. Hussein suffered most. Even the oil, organization petroleum, exporting countries, they suffered. See? They are hearing invasion. They think it is my my and the LL. No, 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 no. My friend, I'm telling you, invasion, I welcome it. They should go and invade, they should go and invade Niger. No, they, let them go and invade Niger. Nobody is supporting Niger. Niger is on his own. Let me tell you, Wagner, a private military institution in Russia, is in charge of Niger. Northern Korea, that stubborn boy, is going to test all his intercontinental missiles. Korea, North Korea will not come to Niger before it started. It started unleashing its military what? Bula, bula, halabula on Nigeria. It's a question of pressing. You know that there are territorial boundaries. Why are you crossing your own territorial boundaries to go and invade people that are trying to treat their own internal?